we'll continue with the derivatives of inverse trigonometric functions now before moving further we should know some trigonometric formulas which are listed on the right hand side please make a note of them let's look at our first question it is sin inverse of cos x now to cancel out sin inverse inside the bracket i need sin x how do i convert cos into sin you can see the first formula there sin can be converted into cos by subtracting the angle by pi by 2 exactly in the same way cos can be converted into sin by subtracting the angle by pi by 2 hence i can write the question as sin inverse of cos can be written as sin of pi by 2 minus x now i can see sin and sin inverse get cancelled out and i'll be left with pi by 2 minus x now i can differentiate both the sides now pi by 2 is a constant term and derivative of constant is always zero hence the answer will be minus 1 let's look at another example we have tan inverse of 1 minus cos x upon sin x now the formula for 1 minus cos x it is 2 sin square x by 2 and the formula for sin 2 theta is 2 sin theta cos theta you can see the angle becomes half of it similarly applying the formula in the denominator sin x will become 2 sin x by 2 into cos x by 2 so in numerator and denominator 2 gets cancelled and one of the sin terms get cancelled so what will be left with tan inverse of sin x by 2 upon cos x by 2 now sin upon cos becomes tan x by 2 now we have tan and tan inverse which will get cancelled and i'll be left with y is equal to x by 2 differentiating both the sides i'll get 1 by 2 as the derivative of x is 1 the constant term will remain let's look at this question y is equal to tan inverse of root of 1 minus cos x upon 1 plus cos x now the formula for both the terms 1 minus cos theta and 1 plus cos theta both are known so applying the formula we can cancel out 2 sin square upon cos square becomes tan square the root of tan square will be tan then tan and tan inverse will get cancelled and i'll be left with x by 2 then differentiating both the sides what i'll get is derivative of y is equal to 1 by 2 Now these are some questions which you can try on your own. Now moving further, tan inverse of cos upon one plus sin x. Now the formula for cos two theta is cos square theta minus sin square theta. It's the half angle formula where two theta becomes theta. In the same way, applying that formula in the numerator, what I'll get is tan inverse of cos square x by two minus sin square x by two. And the formula for one plus sin theta. is also given below you can make a note of it and applying the formula what i'll get is cos x by 2 plus sin x by 2 the whole square now in the numerator i have square of both the terms cos square minus sin square so what is the formula for a square minus b square it's a plus b a minus b so applying that formula i'll get the term cos x by 2 plus sin x by 2 into cos x by 2 minus sin x by 2 the denominator remains as it is now you can see cos x by 2 plus sin x by 2 one term is in the numerator and the same term is there in the denominator so the term containing plus will get cancelled and we will be left with this term now dividing numerator and denominator by cos x by 2 what i'll get is tan inverse of 1 minus tan x by 2 upon 1 plus tan x by 2 again this formula is of tan pi by 4 plus theta hence i'll get tan inverse of tan pi by 4 minus x by 2 and tan and tan inverse will get cancelled and then differentiating as pi by 4 is a constant the answer will be minus 1 by 2 you can try out these questions on your own